What's up guys, welcome to General Electronics, my name is Clément. Uh, today this video is about uh, bench power supply. Uh, this video is going to be useful for those people who uh, uh, do electronics, their hobbies are electronics, where you, you need to test some different uh, projects and stuff like that, and you're using battery, but battery sometimes, it, it's not always 100% because sometimes uh, when the battery dies and stuff like that, you got, then you're going to find yourself mixed up uh, finding the problem, but the uh, problem why is the battery that is is, uh, is empty. So, in this case, I have built here a bench power supply. This is this one here. Okay, I bought the, the casing somewhere in the shop, and then this one bought online. Uh, voltage display. It has a voltage display here and amps as well. Display. And then here yeah, I have this kind of output uh, plugs. It's easy for me to hook up the wires and remove them as well. Simple. And then here yeah, I have a USB 5 volt DC. And then you have uh, on top here the, the two holes here. The, these are for continuity test and uh, LED indicating as well. Okay, and uh, the LED here is for indicating when the for the uh, um, USB there. And the LED on top there is for the two uh, the continu continuity test. So uh, at the back you're gonna find a fan, a cooling fan, uh, AC plug. And then DC plug as well. So this meaning I can use this one from the uh, 130 volt AC or for, uh, I can use battery as well. Just from uh, 12 up to 30, 30 volt DC. So it's very useful as well. So I'm gonna go ahead up inside. I'm gonna show you how how okay. I build it. Uh, it is a it is a metal uh, casing and aluminium sides. Okay, so uh, I bought this online. There's a display, shows a voltage and a amps as well. I have here these kind of clips. It's easy for for hooking up the wires and removing them. Then you have USB and an LD indicating, and you have a continu continuity test with the LD indicating as well and the sound from inside. At the back we have a AC plug. And then you have a DC plug and a switch and a cooling fan as well. So uh, meaning that I can power this, this unit with a 230 volt. Of I can power it just with a simple uh, just using a battery. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and open inside. Show you how, how I build it. Okay, here we go. We have a trans transfer here, and over there we have a LM317 close to the fan with a heat sink. Uh, but because of the space here, actually you have to use a big si uh, big sink. Otherwise, you're gonna have a, a big difference of a dropout of a voltage. You're gonna see that later. Yeah, as my my board I made. Yeah, the General Electronics. Okay. Here we have a, a switch so for safety. This meaning if something goes wrong uh, with the uh, AC input, uh, the suck, this fuse is gonna blow and the thing is gonna be safe and do the own bond. Uh, and I've we, uh, and then we have a ground wire here. Um, it's connected to every every metal here, every metal. Uh, this meaning <coughs> actually this, this for the safety so that uh, if if ever that uh, this any uh, live wire contact the metal stuff, uh, the the whole unit is gonna shut off just for the safety in case. Okay, and uh, I've used uh, heat uh, heat shrink tubes. Uh, it's nice to to cover the wires so they cannot uh, touch it, each other. And uh, that's all about it actually. You can also build this thing, it's very simple, it's not that, it's not that difficult. So small, but if you use a big one, you have more uh, room and you have more uh, 
option to do more with it as well but I'm okay with the the result that I have here okay so I'm gonna put it back on if you want to see now a bit closer maybe see that over here we have a, a small speaker there if you can see it there's a continuity test then this side we have a LM317 uh, connections and a bridge rectifier and big capacitors and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back So I'm gonna go ahead and power it and show you how it's working. Okay, I'm gonna go use uh, 230. Okay, power on. And there you go. Normal this thing should be uh, okay. It's putting uh, 30. Then over to 1.4, 1.4, and zero ohms. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my my small fan over here okay I find it's really easy using this kind of a clip you just have to hook up the, the wires and can kind of able to remove them easily as well okay we have we're running about 1.14 about 2 volt Can really smooth all the way three, four, okay. We are in the six, down there, in six, in six, and seven there. There's a dropout. Uh, because I think my heat sink is not big enough, so the L L L L M three seventeen is get, is getting a, a, a little bit of heat, but uh, the, my fan is also working. So, but I'm okay with I'm okay with the the result because I won't really be using that much of a volt actually. So, the range is okay. Uh, I have a, a fixed five volt DC uh, USB connector. There you go. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and show you my continuity test. Okay, that's over there. I see the uh, a blue light there. So this means there's a connection. It's not connection. Easy. So I find it really easy to put just in the same place. So. It's like one packaging with all this uh, a little bit of options, so it's nice working with it. Okay, and I, I've used it. You can also use continuity test to check your diodes. Okay, for example, you can see the polarity of the diode. Okay, you can see this is positive and the negative side. And you can, if we put this, as you can see it. Okay, this side is more a strip. This side, couple like this side. Okay, so it is reading correctly, meaning the uh, polarity negative is this side. Okay, the small st uh, strip over there, small line. But if I put backwards, nothing should, nothing's happening. So you can see, so my 
to continue to test is working properly as well so it was nice so that's all I'm going to eat uh, okay I'm gonna switch off and power it with the 12 volt battery okay connect to DC okay Just 12 volt battery, but you can use like 224 volt. This two battery in series, give it 24 to power it up. So, let's say in case you are somewhere with the, where there's no power, you can still use the battery as well uh, to test your stuff as well. So, you want you want okay, there you go. The range of this uh, now it won't be that much because it's 12 volt, okay, but it's about 11. And I uh, have a drop out of two volt, at, I think. Okay. There we go. Just two volt. Just have a drop of two two volt. Okay. But that should be normally enough to. To power your controllers, your mac mac macro controllers, and uh, simple uh, I, uh, DC projects and stuff like that. So I like I like the the option that I put there. It's more handy, so you can use it anyhow you wanna. With with uh, from uh, 230 of just simple from my uh, battery also work. And in the back, the fan is always uh, turning on as soon the power is, is there. So that's also a nice thing. So that's all about it. Cheers.